Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some venue shopping, okay? I know it's been a while since you all have had some wedding or engagement content, but trust me, we've been busy. And if you want to know what I mean by busy, you might want to follow me on Instagram, okay? <laughs> One thing that Stefan and I knew though, is that we were going to have a micro wedding. And a micro wedding is basically a very small wedding. We only wanted it, wanted it to be intimate, okay? We only wanted our intimate family and friends that we have very close relationships to be a part of it and that meant we had a cap on every single thing with the number of guests we were allowed to invite first up we have chatham station and here we are walking from the parking lot they did have additional parking down the street and the door and the entryway is definitely giving small town charm and micro wedding so here at the front is basically seating area they had about 80 chairs sitting out Here's the bathroom that was really nice and another view of the sitting area. So their plan was to split the space to basically have the wedding ceremony on one end, close it off with a curtain and basically have the reception on the other end. This bar area was set up for, of course, drinks. Um, and then right off of that area was a very small kitchen. I was not too thrilled about the kitchen, but of course it was a micro wedding. We didn't need a large kitchen. And here was the getting ready space. So it had this little entryway. Um, one side was for the groom and the other side is for the bride and that could be a little tricky on wedding day having us across from one another this area seems to be set up for the bride it had a lot of seating area and enough mirrors for everyone to get ready also a mini fridge which of course everyone knows you always need a mini fridge um, especially in my family we love to eat and they did have additional seating so additional chairs in this area one thing i really love though about chatham is the garage doors that can be pulled up and then you can have this outside space as well so the plan for this was for us to get some outside heater lamps and such because you all we were having a winter wedding so really really love this space outside because it will really get people to socialize have some night lights and things like that but we have the Maxwell which as you all can see here is just a larger larger venue it wasn't that much difference in price but you can see it is just a different aesthetic a different look and it's just on a larger scale so here's what it looked like outside and then on the inside this is considered kind of like the mocktail area so when people are first coming in and they're waiting for the ceremony as well as when they are doing a flip so a flip is basically pretty much having a ceremony and then people the staff that work there will flip it to look like the reception so of course they already had it staged on what it would look like for a reception and then we did get the opportunity to see what their kitchen looked like and it is way bigger than what we had saw at Chatham. It looked like they had already had drinks and things like that stock and it looked really clean. So that's another thing that we always look for is the cleanliness. Here is what the bathroom would look like off of the area that I would be getting ready in, which was really, really nice. We kind of knew that this place wasn't going to be the best match for us, so we decided to go ahead and move on and search for some other places. After touring those two venues, Stefan and I were still kind of like uncertain on which venue we wanted to go with. Chatham was a little bit more intimate and small, and then the Maxwell was just a little bit too big for the type of wedding that we were going for, okay? So we knew that we wanted it to be intimate we wanted it to be very small um, but we didn't want to lose like the luxury part of it okay and we knew with getting like those larger spaces we had to hire like a lot of wedding planners to just make sure that the space was like fully decorated to our lighting and then also the lighting piece okay the lighting was very important um, Stefan and I hopefully can do another video about like what our wedding priorities are and were and um yeah lighting was important because photography was the most important thing on our list okay we wanted to have those memories so in upcoming videos make sure you're subscribed because we will be revealing 
the venue that we actually went with, okay? And I promise it's gonna be a surprise, okay? As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya!